If you get bumpy skin on the outer arms, this is the video for you. I'm Dr. John Barbieri, a board-certified dermatologist and acne expert. In this video, we'll be covering a condition called keratosis pilaris, sometimes also known as chicken skin or strawberry skin. People with keratosis pilaris get red, scaly bumps often on the outer arms and sometimes on the thighs as well. Keratosis pilaris is a common and chronic problem that likely has a genetic component because we can see that it runs in families. It also is associated with other dry skin issues like eczema and atopic dermatitis and may even share some of the same genetic causes. Keratosis pilaris occurs when we get an accumulation of buildup of these keratin and dead skin cells in the hair follicles. It's this buildup that leads to the bumps and that can sometimes become inflamed and red. So when it comes to treating keratosis pilaris, we're gonna to wanna to look for products that can either help normalize this keratinization process that keep things from getting clogged up and built up in the first place, or things that can help us to get rid of that accumulation of keratin and dead skin cells around the hair follicles. When it comes to normalizing keratinization, that's where products like retinoids or retinols can really be useful. My personal favorite would be Differin, which contains Adapalene 0.1%. Now, adapalene was formerly a prescription-only topical retinoid, but now it's available over-the-counter as well. It's important to keep in mind, though, that retinoids can be irritating. So if we're going to use a retinoid or retinol, we're going to want to think about combining it with a moisturizer to help prevent dryness and irritation, which we know can be an issue in those who have keratosis pilaris. Now, when it comes to getting rid of that accumulation of keratin and skin cells, that's where we can turn to our chemical exfoliants, things that are keratolytic. These would be things like salicylic acid or glycolic acid or urea or ammonium lactate. For salicylic acid, it can help to use it in a good moisturizer, especially something that has ceramides to help the skin barrier and prevent irritation. CeraVe SA is a great place to start. There's also a CeraVe psoriasis cream that's very similar, but additionally includes some lactic acid as well. Gold Bond Rough and Bumpy is another good product to consider. These all can be used one to two times per day. For those looking for even stronger treatments, we can start thinking about salicylic acid or glycolic acid toners. An example of this would be Paula's Choice 2% BHA solution. These can be a bit more irritating, so I recommend starting them just a couple of times a week and then trying to work your way up over time as your skin can tolerate it. For urea, aim for something with a 30 to 40% concentration as we know that this works better for maximizing those keratolytic effects or helping us to get rid of those bumps. Eucerin Roughness Relief Spot Treatment can be a good option that has 30% urea in it. For ammonium lactate, things like amlactin Rapid Relief are really nice and affordable products that we can use to take advantage of that ingredient. And similar to our salicylic acid moisturizers, these can be used one to two times per day. Finally, some patients with keratosis pilaris have found products that contain chlorine dioxide to be helpful. This has both antimicrobial and keratolytic effects, and there's a company, Aseptic MD, that makes a number of nice products containing chlorine dioxide in them. While these products can help, it's important to keep in mind that keratosis pilaris is a chronic problem. It requires continuous treatment, and sometimes it takes a little bit of trial and error to find the right product for your individual skin. In my experience, combining a retinoid like adapalene, Differin, with the strongest keratolytic that your skin can tolerate is often the most effective treatment strategy. But remember, it's gonna take some trial and error to find what works best for you and your own skin. So don't give up if the first thing you try doesn't give you the results that you need. And remember, it takes consistent and continuous treatment to be able to maintain and to achieve the best results. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and consider subscribing to our channel. This helps us share the video with more in the community and I really appreciate your support. In addition, in the comments below, share what's worked for you and your keratosis pilaris and don't forget to ask me about acne. See ya!